Hello and welcome to YQ Academy Tutorials by Devis Priyanka and topic for today's discussion is Infinite Loop in JavaScript. So, Infinite Loop as name implies execute infinitely or forever. So, if we accidentally create Infinite Loop, we are going to crash our browser or our computer. It either produces a continuous output or no output. Loop has no termination condition or a termination condition that cannot be met. But they are useful in some situations like all the games run in an infinite loop. Uh, the game will accept the user request until the user ended the game. So we can uh, create infinite loop using for, while and do while loop. So I'll take example of infinite loop using for, while and do while loop. So first let me write a program for infinite loop using while loop. So here my file name is infinite loop. Now let's write a program in while loop for infinite loop. So let me create a variable using let keyword and I'm taking variable name number and I am assigning uh, let's say 10 to it. Now let me write while and I need to give a condition in this while. So here let me write number is greater than 5. Now let me uh, define the body of loop and in the body of while loop I will give uh, a statement like console.log and I want to print the value of number so let me write number over here and then the update statement like number is equals to number plus one. Now let's uh, see the output for this. So for this let me uh, open a new terminal and in this terminal let me write node and then the file name that is infinite loop dot js and on clicking the enter button we can see the output as this it is a continuous loop it is not getting terminated and this is example of um, infinite loop using by loop as value of number is initially 10 and in the body of while loop value is incremented by 1 therefore making the test condition always true and since the test condition is always true, therefore this loop will not get terminated at all. Because if the condition is true, we repeat the loop body again and again. So, um, I have to uh, kill this terminal to stop the program. Now, uh, let's take an example of infinite loop using do while loop. So, first let me create all these statements as uh, uh, comments. Now, I am taking an example of infinite loop using while loop. So, let me first create a variable using let keyword and I am giving the variable name as x this time and I am assigning value 0 to it. And now, let's write do and then let's... Uh, Give the body of do while loop. So here let's write console.log and let's print the value of x over here. And at the bottom of the loop, let's give the condition in while. So here I'll take condition as x is less than 5. Now to see the output, let's open a new terminal. And in terminal, let's write uh, node and then the file name infinite loop dot js and on clicking the enter button we can see it also creates an infinite loop so let's see over here uh, so now uh, what i'm doing i'm assigning a uh, value 0 to some variable x and then we enter in the body of do while loop we print uh, the value of x and at the bottom of the body of uh, do while loop we give condition to check and here 0 is less than 5 and it is true uh, obviously forever since we are not incrementing the value of x over here so x will remain 0 every time and 0 is less than 5 every time therefore this body of do while loop will get executed 
infinite leap. So it is an example for infinite loop using do while uh, loop. So let's kill this terminal to stop this program. Now let's take an example of infinite loop using for loop. So let me uh, create all these statements as comment. Now let's write for and then the first part of uh, for loop that is initialization. So let me initialize uh, the value of i as uh, 0. Now let's give the next uh, part of the for loop that is condition. So here let me write true. Now let me write the third part of for loop that is the increment statement. So let me write i plus plus. And now give the body of for loop here. I want to print some statement or some value. I will print the value of uh, let's say i. So to see the output of uh, this uh, piece of code in the terminal window, let's write node and then the file name infinite loop dot js. And on clicking the enter button, we can see the output as this. This is also uh, executed forever. This will create an infinite loop because if you see over here, I give the condition true and it is true forever. So this will this loop will get uh, executed forever or continuously. So uh, to stop this program, I need to kill this terminal. Otherwise, the, this loop will get executed forever or continuously. So it is an example of infinite loop using for loop. So first, let's uh, kill this terminal. So it is all about uh, infinite loop in JavaScript. Thank you for watching.